Radio Gaga. I want to talk about geopolitics a little bit right now, about the Republican Party, the Democrats, and I have this Freudian freaking attitude, and everybody said for years and years and years that I'm Freudian to a flaw. I take that as a compliment. I break everything down to sex. I honestly do. You know, it, it, people think I'm completely off the freaking madness deep end when I go off on all these Republicans and this hairspray and everything. They're gay. They're, they're gay, and they're freaking repressed. And they've been taught that freaking being gay is some kind of death sentence via religion. Everything in my brain comes down. I break everything down to free. I'm Freudian as it fucking gets. I honestly am. I break it all the way down to that. And freaking these guys are so overcompensated that it is incredible and it is fucking ridiculous. And I hear people all the time, well, fuck, maybe you're fucking gay. You know, I hear it all the time. I sit like this. We were in Manhattan a couple years ago sitting around during Christmas. My daughter and I and a whole bunch of friends, we were sitting there and I heard one of her friends say that her real quietly, she says, you know, your dad likes a lot of gay things. Like, is, you, is you think he's gay? And I heard my daughter whisper to her, and they didn't think I'd hear, have you ever heard him talk? <laughs> you know, I wish I was gay. I honest to God wish I was gay. I honestly fucking do. Fuck, they gotta be happy. Gay fucking man, they gotta be happier than us headroots. They gotta, think about fucking the gay marriage. I like the gay marriage fucking issue. Please. We've been really successful with us hetero. Oh yeah, we're a bunch of real happy fuckers, aren't we? And fucking, these fucking GOP fuckers with the hairspray and all, that's not the sexual repression. And everybody says, well, fuck, you're obviously sexually repressed. Hello, what 50-year-old middle-aged hetero man isn't in America? Hello, we all are. At least I'm not fucking denial about it. Fuck, look. When it comes to these hair, what do you think all the hairspray is, is about? Every fucking one of them. These guys, remember when you were going to fucking high school and these guys are rent for student body? Fucking, time's out, put that on Balco. Here these fuckers are. They cannot, I have so much respect for any openly gay man who could come out in the 70s or the 80s like a lot of them did. I mean, think about what that fucking took culturally. Think about it was. And I go up on, I live out here in this rural county area and there's all these pretty cowboys. In the old timers, you just call them drug star cowboys. Every one of them, Every one of these pretty cowboys, in my mind, is gay. Everybody says, oh, fuck, they ain't... Look, I'll show you a real cowboy. I grew up on this ranch. My grandpa was missing one eyeball from a farm implement exit. Asking that, fishing two fingers off this hand, one finger off that hand. He had freaking dirt on him, this thing. i never seen him in the house in daylight hours in my entire life. He drank freaking straight shots of freaking whiskey, freaking once in a while. He donated his time and everything to the community. Anybody who was in trouble, they just write a check. He helped out anybody who was the most communal person you could ever think. I remember one time we were working down on this place where we had some real estate, and it was real, it's a desert here, it's 100 degrees. You know, and we're out of water, whatever, and he digs up under the seat, and he's got two lucky loggers, and they got grease this thick on them. Both cans popped out, and I'm like, you know, and I'm a kid. You know, I'm like, well, here, boy. I'm like, yeah, I'm drinking that. He pops it up. That's a cowboy. These pretty hairspray things up. And when it comes to the women, Michelle Bachman, Sarah Palin, are they gay? No, they married gay men. They're sexually repressed. Honestly, Todd? Todd with the machine gun shooting a moose out of the freaking thing? You don't think she's never had an orgasm? And freaking Michelle? Oh my God. That guy that she's married to is Paul Lynn gay. Seriously, without the humor. Can you imagine Paul Lynn if he was not funny? That's him. They're gay. They're gay. I'll guarantee neither one's ever had an orgasm. And I'll tell you what. I sure ain't helping you out with that one. Those two, oh, maybe, you know, I heard Ted Nugent say, oh, God, that Sarah Palin's good looking. I hear it over and over, and I'm like, you know, the woman is a solid three, and then she opens her mouth, she's a minus fucking 20. There's nothing attractive about her, not physically, not mentally. You can't help me out with that one. I used to have this girlfriend up in Wyoming. You girls, don't get mad at me, because this is real sexist. I, I admit it. You know, at least I'm open about it. It is sexist. You know, I've been through a lot of females off and on in my life. I've been single for a long, long time. But anyway, this girl was pretty hot, pretty cute, really cute. You know, a lot younger than me. Raging neocon nut. Glenn Beck nutty neocon. You know what I think of those. Well, I used to call her Dick Cheney's niece. You know, so this girl would rant and rave, whatever, but when it, you know, we... <laughs> That's all she wanted. After that, this girl was so logical, it was down to her. She'd call me up, Kevin, you got to come see me. Yeah. Fuck, it was, let's go get a latte. She was, she's the most logical woman on freaking earth for the next few days. That's all Sarah Palin and Michelle Bachman. All right, but you know what? You're going to have to help me out because I ain't going there. Hello. You know, and it's, but as far as the men, 
in Republican you know, everybody gets sick of hearing me. You try to tell me these married men with kids, the whole world, yeah, gay. We had this guy busted just recently, a state legislator right here, Mormon Bishop, got caught with a prostitute in Salt Lake. It was all over the media, slowly got broke because. Utah hides in the media, trust me. You know, the, if a Mormon gets in trouble, it's, it's buried. You know, that's, that's where we live. That's the culture. Well, come out about a year ago, the prostitute was a guy. You know, it's very common here. And these pretty cowboys, it's like the 60s music with the rhinestones all over you. They're like, you trying to tell me all those guys that were freaking rhinestones over game? No, but a lot of guys listen to them. And part of them, you know, Buck Owens gay? Yeah. I mean, come on, please. The rhinestones are pretty freaking suits. Did you see Elvis or Roy Orbison wearing that kind of garb? No, they were pandering to the, mel the, the middle-aged man. Pretty cowboy, sexually repressed. They're gay. Every one of them's gay. These Republicans, all the hairspray, the fakeness, the overcompensation with the wars, the kill, gay. Every freaking one of them. They are freaky. It comes down to sex. Every bit of this comes down to sex. I'm telling you, Iraq came down to sex with freaking Bush in a pissing contest with his dad. Freudian. That's all Iraq was, was a pissing contest. Your dad can whip my dad. You threaten to kill me. That. I honestly fucking believe this. I believe everything comes down. I'm so fucking Freudian. Every single fucking inch of this. And if you're a young person and you're confused sexual orientation and you know you're gay, whatever, you know what? You shouldn't be having sex till you're 18 years old anyway. Just keep it to yourself. These people want to teach you, tell you to pray away the gay, do this and everything. You know what? Just be yourself inside. Once you turn 18, you're going to have a whole world out there and your adolescence is going to fly by. And I know your head's spinning around, you're confused, everything's pressured on you, and you're stressed. We have a suicide epidemic here and there's young males that I'm sure are gay and they have fathers that are pretty cowboys who freaking got oppressed up. You know, I got this friend right down the road and I grew up with him and I was sure that he was gay my whole life. I was sure. He has five, four or five kids. Both, he has two sons, both gay. They didn't come out to have, but there's a lot of it. I know there's a lot of it. And you, you're going to be 18 soon. This world, no one cares. And if you are married and you're freaking gay and you're a phony fucking hairsprayed fuck, you know what? Come to grips with you. Find a way to fucking deal with your fucking self. Look, quit all of you fuckers living the fucking life. Honestly, I have more respect for an open gay male. And when it comes to, you know, gay marriage, please, I guess heteros have been so fucking successful. Oh my God, everybody says, well, God, Kevin, I think all these pretty things you like and the art world and everything, maybe you're gay. And I'm like, I would. I wish I was, but I just can't get attracted about a fucking, the male, feet, you know, body. It doesn't do anything for me. I remember when I was young, I was one of these skinny fucking kids that got shot up with steroids with cortisone. I was a preemie. I had little bumps all over. had me this long blonde. I got attention from females that was like crazy. I look back on it now. The freaking whole thing in my life and the females I was involved with, even the mothers to my children, I was nothing but a sex toy to them. It was sexual then. It's sexual now with these cougars. All It all comes down to freaking sex. And I was working for this old guy. This old guy was sitting out on the porch and he was watching me. And I thought, I got this creepy view. I had my shirt off. And he says, Kev, come here. And it really kind of creeped me out. He says, God, you got some muscles in that back watching you go with that hawk and try. I just love watching you, you know. And I'm like, eek. And he's told me, he says, you know, I was a big fan of Michelangelo's when I was young. He says, I got a wife and five kids, so many grandkids. And he says, I love the male body. I love the muscles, but I sure don't want to kiss one. And I laughed so hard. I thought, you know, <laughs> it was one of the most hilarious things I think about it all the time. And then we got this old guy named Andy, this mean old drinking, freaking tough guy. I just mean, nasty, 25th Streeter, you know, Skid Row guy, my friend's freaking dad, mean guy. <laughs> One time, somebody called somebody else a faggot. You know, a bunch of construction workers sitting around. And I'll never forget what he said. He looked at it and he said, let me tell you, boy, don't knock it till you try it. That's been one of our jokes in our construction world forever. It's hilarious. But it really does come down to homosexuality. I mean, the homosexuality, if you're gay, come out. I mean, can you imagine living your whole life repressed? Anybody, a, homo a gay male who come out in the last, you know, in the 70s, I have more respect for those people than anybody in the world. I honestly do. And when it comes to freaking gay marriage, right, you know, and people say, oh, they shouldn't get married? Oh, we've been real successful in the fucking hetero world, haven't we? Oh, yeah, every fucking one of us is fucking single. You know how many men my age I know are all fucking living alone? I mean, yeah, 
Bucket. Let's. There's the business plan for you. Bucket. Get married. Have fucking kids. And if you are married, fucking people will just deal with each other. So many. And if you do have a successful marriage and you two have been able to put it together, a couple, whether it be gay or hetero, and you've been able to stay together, twice, I really admire you people. I, honest to God, do admire you guys. Should be freaking commended. I. What you've accomplished is incredible. You beat the odds so dramatically. But when it comes to politics and these fucking GOP, all that hairspray, and these pretty fucking cowboys, they fucking poking their big old fucking gun, it's all overcompensation, and every fucking one of them are fucking repressed gay. And they're scared to come out of the closet because they're so religious in faction. The root of all freaking evil is organized religion. And so they've went down that road. And same with these freaking Michelle Bobbins. They married gay men. They never had an organ. They are sexually repressed. That's why they're so evil. That's why they're so mad. And people say, well, look at you. Look at your rage. Oh, yeah, but at least I admit it. What middle-aged hetero man in America is not sexually repressed? Kevin Blanche.